Aujourd'hui, nous Today avons parlé du climat de l'Alpes et de la Fondation de la Fondation de First, we're going to see what has been observed and what predictions are planning for the next century. Regarding the temperature over the 20th century, temperature, yearly average temperature has increased by one degree over France, and France, the Alps are obviously involved. The average uh, increase per decade was one-tenth of a degree. Over the re most recent period, 1959-2009, warming has uh, gathered speed on the Alps, warming, warming is comprised between 0.2 and 0.4 degrees. Regarding rainfall, in France, a slight upward trend in the uh, upper northern eastern part and a slight decrease in the south. On the Alps, the three northern quadrants uh, are stable, and the southern quadrant has seen a decrease of a measured rainfall. Now, spot measurements showing uh, snowfall and snowpack and the reaction to a change in the rainfall. 55 years uh, of measurement in the Col de Porte, uh, 1,325 meters of altitude. The same observation, temperatures are rising. Rainfall is decreasing slightly, and therefore the snowpack during the winter is uh, clearly decreasing. Here on this uh, graph, we see that the uh, average height of snow has been has decreased by 50 percent over the same period. Higher up, La Plagne, 2,000 meters of altitude over approximately the same period, 1970s to today. We also observe a regular increase of the temperatures about one degree, an average uh, 0.25 uh, degree C increase per decade with a slight uh, decrease of uh, rainfall. And therefore, the average uh, height of the fall pack, of the snow pack, is um, lower, except the difference uh, is lesser than at the Col de Porte. Why is that? Because at this altitude, uh, temperatures remain below zero during the winter, so the, the snow doesn't melt as much as uh, on the Col de Porte. Projections for the 21st century. Regarding the uh, annual temperature in France, the French model on the left-hand side provided by Météo France and the uh, IPSN model forecasts a general temperature increase, except that the uh, temperature increase is more marked in the Meteo France model between 1.5 and 3 degrees, whereas uh, the IPSN model is uh, slightly lower. On the Alps, the temperature increase would be in the range of 1.5 and 3 degrees for the Meteo France model, and between 1 and 2.5 degrees Celsius in the IPSN model. Yearly rainfall. The two models are clearly different. The French Météo France model does not show a, an obvious trend in, and an evolution in the observed rainfall, whereas the IPSN model shows an upwards trend on the uh, upper part of France and a decrease in southern France. For the Alps, the Meteo France uh, model does not provide a, an obvious trend, whereas the IPSN model forecasts a marked increase of um, rainfall in the uh, northern part of the Alps and a slight reduction in the southern part of the Alps. Therefore, the two models are not consistent. There remains a lot of uncertainty about what rainfall is going to be in the 21st century and what the evolution will be. Let us look now at the future of the snow pack during the 21st century on the Alps. Here we have a project called Scampei, and this project has analyzed the impact of temperature evolution and the evolution of rainfall during the 21st century and the impact this is going to have on, the, on snowfall and snowpack. The map is an evolution map regarding the average height of snow during January, the months of January, February and March versus the uh, reference period 
1959-1990, the uh, snowpack is much thinner. There's a variation of up to 50-60% in some areas. The snowpack will lose approximately half of its height during the 21st century versus the period from the 60s to the 90s. We're talking about here the year of the year 2013-2040 with an intermediate uh, greenhouse effect gas emission level. Here we have uh, the altitude of 1,800 meters where the ski resorts are located. There is also a decrease, uh, but it's less marked, and that the uh, altitude of 2,400 where the ski slope are, there is a more moderate decrease of the uh, snowpack, 20-25% homogeneously distributed from uh, the north and the south parts of the Alps. But one may say, okay, this is all very well, this was the Météo France uh, model, but is the model consistent with the uh, projections or are there divergences such as the ones we have observed on the previous two maps, uh, Météo France and IPSN? Here we have three maps in the near future with an intermediate uh, altitude, and we see that uh, although the figures are not quite the same. They are fairly consistent with the previous model. There is obviously a more marked decrease in the snowpack in southern in the southern Alps and the northern Alps. What about the risk of snow avalanche? Is there going to be an evolution between now and the year 2030-2040? The risk of natural snow avalanche is going to decrease, but depending on the scenario and the model, there are huge differences. In some simulations, there will be a marked decrease in the risk of snow avalanche, whereas in some of the other models, there is a lesser, less marked decrease in the risk. And uh, here all the models agree on the fact that uh, the risk of uh, snow uh, avalanches is going to decrease uh, markedly. What about snowfall by the end of this century? Again, if we look at a simulation map, one that I showed you already with the altitude of uh, 1,800 degrees in the Aladdin model, the uh, decrease is marked. And if we look at the same uh, simulation later, the end of the 21st century, here there is less and less snow, more markedly so in southern, in the southern part of the Alps, but the, the whole mountain will see the thickness of its snowpack decrease substantially. And if we look at the other parameters, uh, annual duration of uh, the uh, snowfall and the equivalent in water of the snowpack, we see uh, an obvious decrease, uh, and all the results can be found at this website. In summary, the climate projections are forecasting a huge increase of the uh, snowpack, moderately to begin with, and uh, in a more marked way uh, as we move towards the end of the century. But there are two uncertainties that we still have to deal with. First of all, all the climate models do not agree on the intensity of the changes that are going to affect uh, parameters such as temperature and rainfall. And also, there is uncertainty, uh, there is a type of socioeconomic uncertainty. Are human beings going to continue uh, emitting uh, greenhouse effect gases uh, as they do now, or will these uh, emissions decrease in the future?